Hi, I'm Professor Joe Jacobs, based here at the Ellenbank Dairy Research Centre. So this is about a 230 hectare farm, of which about 160, 65 hectares is available for the grazing herd. At the moment, we're milking 430 dairy cows. Here at the Ellenbank Smart Farm, we're trying to achieve carbon neutrality and we've set ourselves an ambitious target of achieving net zero emissions by 2026. So the first thing with us thinking about how we achieve this carbon neutrality was really understanding what are the emissions we produce at the moment. So using the, the national framework for accounting for uh, greenhouse gas emissions that's been established through uh, Melbourne University, I ran our numbers through the, the calculator and came up with a number of approximately 2,600 tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalents per year, which is pretty much in line with a commercial farm of this size. And to me, that wasn't too surprising. I expected the numbers should come out around there. Within that, about 60, just over 60% of those emissions come from dairy cows burping methane. About 16% from energy and about 12-13% from manure waste. So together, those numbers are just over 90% of our emissions. So the key steps that we're looking to undertake here at Ellenbank to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions are reducing the amount of methane that animals burp up every day through feed additive, through genetics, through feed efficiency, generating our own energy on site through a combination of solar, wind, hydro, using our own electric vehicles, and thirdly, to better manage the waste streams on the farm to generate energy and to use those as products for fertiliser in replacement of inorganic fertiliser use. I think future research efforts that are required to really help the farming environment become more carbon neutral, move towards carbon neutrality, uh, will be around feeding systems, given that that is the largest greenhouse gas producer on uh, ruminant farms, livestock farms, for dairy around waste. And by that I mean, um, my sense here is that many grazing based systems, making things like a biodigester actually economically viable is a challenge. What is the opportunity to look at working with other local agricultural industries to co-mingle waste products? to actually keep biodigesters running at an optimum pace. I think there's some real opportunities around um, a range of agricultural industries working together in that space. I think the other one is um, lifetime efficiency of the animal. Can we actually make a difference with newborn calves, bringing calves through to weaning and actually setting the animal up, setting the rumen environment up for that long-term mitigation of methane emissions? I'm Graham Nicol, I'm a dairy farmer from South Gippsland, I'm a couple of hours southeast of Melbourne where I milk just over 300 cows on a pasture based system. I guess we began looking at the carbon footprint on our farm from like broader global concerns of greenhouse gas emissions. Probably 10 or 15 years ago we did the dairy carbon calculator which was then the degas tool and found that a large proportion of our emissions on our farm was enteric methane, which is the emissions from our cows. Over the last 30 years, the Australian dairy industry has reduced their enteric methane emissions by 40%. That's a huge reduction. And that's a reduction that we've seen across our farm as well. So better breeding and feeding of cows has that significant impact on that enteric methane, which is our largest greenhouse gas emission. Do you imagine if our whole community reduced their greenhouse gas footprint by 40% in the last 30 years? Well, the dairy industry has done that with enteric methane. That's pretty exciting. There are more opportunities for better breeding and feeding of cows to further reduce those emissions. And then there's some really exciting technology. That we've all heard of the seaweed, the potential for seaweed. The dairy industry is really well positioned to capitalise on the opportunities of these diet additives to ruminants. Because we see our cows twice a day, we have the opportunity to give those additives twice a day. So yes, there's some challenges around getting that all worked out, but I think the dairy industry is placed in such an exciting place to reduce those emissions.